Hi guys, Mimi's back. I'm here to read you a fun story, a really neat story. It's called Different. I really think this has a good moral to it and a good story. It's by Michael Buxton. Are you ready? Someone was hiding near the lagoon. It was a flamingo called Flo. There she is. Flo never joined in. She felt like she was too different. Oh, poor Flo. My beak is too big, thought Flo. You think her beak is too big? Beaks are amazing, said the other birds. My neck is too long, Flo thought. Long necks are wonderful, said George. What kind of animal was George? Right, he was a giraffe. My pink feathers are too bright, Flo thought. Bright colors are beautiful, said Sam, Frankie, and Pete. Let's see. Maybe this is Sam. What is Sam? <gasps> right. A snake. What is Frankie? A frog. And Pete is a peacock. They have bright colors, don't they? My feet are too big, Flo thought. Big, stompy feet are terrific, said Ron. What is Ron? Ron is a rhinoceros, right? Thanks to her friends, Flo thought she was very lucky to be... different. Oh, I like that. Have you ever felt like you're different? Or you didn't fit in? I have. I've felt that way. I think our, and I got, as I got older, I realized our differences are, make us special. And they make us who we are. And we should embrace how different and wonderful we all are. Because we all are different. And um, sometimes it's easy to point out the different things about yourself or the things that you may not like about yourself. But you just have to think of all the really good things because you may not like everything about yourself you don't always but there are always some really good things I bet you can think about yourself that you know about yourself I'll name a couple of myself I really like my red hair I used to not like it I, I it wasn't that I didn't like it it's just that it stood out it was different than other people again it was hard to be different but now I'm just like, I love my red hair. It makes me unique and it makes me me. I love that I have a big heart. I used to think that when I showed my emotion and I cried and I cared so much about people, that it was a bad thing, that it was a fault that I had. But now I've learned that it's not a fault. It is very much a, um, it's a good thing that I have that I care so deeply. I really embrace it and if my emotions come out and I cry, it just means I really, really care. And I'm just really hurting or for someone or um, just really feeling something deeply. So you should not be afraid to show those feelings, okay? So this is our book, Different. Here's the front. I really like this book. Here's the back cover. And it says, Flo the Flamingo always felt too different, but her friends helped her to see that everyone is different. A celebration of uniqueness from the comic imagination of Michael Buxton. And that's true. It, everyone is different, and it's good to be find what makes you unique. That means what makes you you. Okay? So, that was the back cover. Here's the spine with the name. And... It also has flow in there.
See, there she is. <laughs> um, I love this story. Mimi is going to sign off for now. But I will see you tomorrow and we will do a craft. Or outside. I haven't decided yet, but I'm pretty sure craft. We might do a activity. I don't know. Activity or craft with this, okay? I have an idea with this. So I think we may do that. Okay? Um, I will see you tomorrow on Mimi's Adventures. Bye.